actually feel like I'm making progress this time around and that hasn't felt real in such a long time. Hello everyone, how are you doing? I hope you're doing super well and if you're not, I hope that things get better soon. Today, I'm gonna be laying out uh, my bullet journal for February and setting it up. So if you wanna do that with me, go grab your, grab your bullet journal, go grab yourself a coffee, a cafe. You know I don't have one. We're gonna reflect on our month prior. We're gonna create a new prompt for this month and we're gonna laugh at ourselves because of all of the tasks that we have to migrate from last month that we did not complete. It's the first day of February already and I can't believe it. I, time just seems to have no, no meaning these days. You would have seen a little bit of my spread from January, but if you haven't, it's here. I'll show you here in that camera and then also down here. I did a vision board for the new year and basically what I do with this is read it every now and again to remind myself of my new year's resolutions and my goals and my dreams. It sort of has a little bit of a manifestation. I also have a digital vision board on Pinterest. So if you wanna go follow me on Pinterest, it's just my name and we can pin cute things together. But yeah, the next part that I set up was the 2021 calendar and last month I kind of penciled in some dates that I thought were important. And then I usually do a calendar like this, then I do a monthly prompt, and then I do um, January overview of all the things I want to get done in January, which like, if you look at this, um, <laughs> it's a lot of stuff. And I do a habit tracker, which you can't see, but I, this time I did little dots, see here, little dots, instead of, instead of coloring in the boxes, because it was a lot easier and faster for me. I always try to map out my ideal day, I don't know if you can see it here because I feel like that changes sometimes and I always want to maintain like a current ideal day of, of what I wanted. I, I wasn't able to reach this perfect day this month, but I'm hoping that February brings that on for me. Uh, then I have my gratitude list, which again, I didn't finish it this month. You can see from this perspective, it looks really good at the beginning and then towards the end, I kind of fell off and stopped being grateful. No, I didn't stop being grateful. I just uh, forgot to do my gratitude list. This is super messy. Uh, I did like a week at a glance, but I'm not sure if I'm gonna continue to do a week at a glance because it's really takes up a lot of space. I had a little reflection, I had notes. I did like a YouTube brainstorm. And what's so great about bullet journaling and what Nora actually taught me about bullet journaling was that you have this little key at the front and Basically, with this key, you can start a note for anything and then just put the page number so that you'll never lose it. And I thought that was really cool. I did, did some notes. I started this thing called book notes where I'm starting to make notes on the books that I'm reading and annotating them so that I can make better reading wrap ups. Also, just to remember, I don't really have the best memory. <laughs> so if I don't make notes on something, it's really a struggle to remember the parts that I really loved about something or um, the things I didn't like about something. So I thought this would really help me to process my thoughts and it, it has really helped. So I'm, wherever I, I start a new book, I just create a new page and then I always go back to that page and write and make sure I fill up the page with notes. We're gonna start our new, our new calendar spread right now. And I think we'll just set it up first before we fill in anything maybe actually i don't know what i want to do i think i can probably do calendar then i can do like half a page of my my reflection from the past month and then half a page of the prompt and then this side i can do my objectives for the month and then my habit tracker, my gratitude list, and then my daily. Yeah, I think that'll work. But let's get started. I always tend to flip back to my calendar page to <laughs> count the squares and see how many, how many squares I did. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So like eight dots across 
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and seven. Interesting, it's like not a perfect square. My brothers are singing downstairs in case you hear someone singing. Okay, so I start with a pencil. <sighs> feel like I have to decide on my theme for the month. Um, so January was preparation. In keeping with the theme of February, which is typically Valentine's Day, love, all that kind of stuff, I'm gonna make the theme care. Okay, yes, I like this. How can I care for myself in ways that I need to be cared for and February will be figuring out what that process is for me and, and how I can truly structure my days to better take care of myself and um, making sure to incorporate certain moments of time into my days and into my weeks that are dedicated to taking care of myself. So I think this is, this will be the next step, especially I know as a single person with Valentine's Day coming up, it can be hard. It can be hard during this super lonely time. Plus I feel like the one thing that I didn't get accomplished in January was to follow the schedule that I wanted. I definitely improved. My sleep schedule has definitely improved and I'm waking up earlier. I'm having a more of a routine style day and week but it isn't exactly where I want it to be in order to be able to do all of the things that I want to do in a day. We're going to put, I'm going to put the theme at the top here and the reason I'm not putting self-care as the word is because I kind of want it to be open in terms of who that I'm caring for. I'd love to finally send out the letters that I've been trying to send out to my friends and again, trying to treat all of my friends with more respect and love and kindness and talk to them more. But another aspect of it is wanting to care for my family members more. Again, treating them with that kindness and trying to develop systems for myself so I don't fall back into old patterns and habits that aren't who I want to be or are who I recognize as myself. I think it would be really awesome to find a quote for this page. Okay, I'm actually going to be using some quotes from this book that I listened to that I'll be talking about in my wrap up. Uh, it was called How to Get Over a Boy by Chidira Eguru and there are some really great quotes in there and the few that I'm going to pull out from my book notes are you deserve to meet the woman you are destined to become and love exactly who you are right now. I also Why I think that is so beautiful is the book that I'm currently listening to is The Power of Now by Eckhart Tolle and there's no future and there is no past, there is only the now, there is only present. And you can only decide what to do in the present. Basically the same thing is to be content with who you are right in this moment. What are ways that we can do this? Brace, imperfections, and mistakes. And personally for me, it's try to move on faster from moments of anger or frustration and I find that that's probably a lot to do with like how I've been reacting to my mom or my brothers and I just have a hard time getting out of 
sadness or anger that I feel towards a certain situation and instead I just want to like lock myself in my closet and cry uh, I want to be able to forgive easier so I'm gonna put that down too there are certain people that you know you don't have to forgive them but I think for little instances like this that it really at the end of the day isn't a big deal it's important to, for me to just try my best to accept the present moment and forgive and move forward i have some dates so that i'm going to fill in here um we're going to put valentine's day we can carry over the dates that i wrote down in my overview so I have Valentine's Day, have my uh, the workshop that I'm I'm being a part of. So I'm just gonna see what the dates are. So it's basically the every Thursday of the month. So I'm just gonna put that in every Thursday of the month. Okay, so far that's those are the dates that I have. Like I'm, I'm gonna fill them in later on, just like the, the ones I'm willing to share. The next point will be to write over my monthly reflection rituals of care as i mentioned the monthly prompt for this month is rituals of care and i think you could even say building rituals of care the idea for this prompt is to write down a list of self-care rituals that you want to implement into your life and why that is important to your greater overall purpose. So what are some rituals of care? What are some self-care rituals that I want to start implementing? I have been trying to create my nighttime routine, especially on Fridays and Saturdays, maybe even sometimes Sundays as like this experience for myself where I spend time alone and I really like do my skincare and my take a bath and do my gua sha put on my diffuser and I think I would like for that to be a staple part of my routine and even even every day like making the skincare routine not this like chore to do the key to transforming these mundane activities into rituals is your intention. When you put intention behind something that you want to do, it changes the entire experience. When you put intention behind your reading, like how I did last month by writing notes about it and going into the process with wanting to learn something from everything that I was reading, that was my intention. So that really changed the reading process for me. For my skincare, the times where it had really felt like a ritual was when I had that intention of doing it out of genuine care and love for myself. That comes with paying attention to myself, which has been a really big thing for me in the past few months. I find that I can easily disassociate from, from myself, if that makes sense. Like I can detach myself from my own existence and completely ignore what I'm feeling in the present moment. If I'm not paying attention to what I'm doing and really focusing on being intentional about every aspect of my life, I just let things slip. And that's not who I want to be. I want to be reliable and I want, again, to have relationships and friendships that are really powerful and beautiful. It went off on a tangent there. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep that in, but let's see. What are some things that I want to do? One of the things is uh, my skincare routine. I actually have been really good. I've been doing it every single night. I think I missed one or two nights. I want to... I guess I want to I want to give myself time to do it. So carving out a space in my in my day rather than it being like, oh, I have to do this before I go to sleep. It's like, I'm excited to go and do this because I'm like, I know at eight o'clock or nine o'clock, that's when I'm gonna start my ritual. 
like my, my going to bed process. And another thing about this is that it doesn't have to be this final product. And sometimes I was worried like before I started bullet journaling that it had to be this like perfect process and that if somebody, if I were to show it like this or if someone were to open my bullet journal, they'd need to see like my thoughts super clear. I don't have the best penmanship and I need to write, I'm a writer and I need to write out things and make mistakes in order to realize what my process is. And myself of benefits and how much like how well rested I feel and then once or twice a week have a self-care night I'm doing pretty well with flowing myself back into yoga and movement for the new year. But I haven't been doing it every day and while I walk every day, I now really want to be intentional about what I'm doing to move every day. So I'd love to wake up and do yoga in the mornings and I'd love to do a very, very simple and quick yoga flow just before I go to bed last month. The theme is preparation and the idea was what can I set up for myself and how can I set up my life so that I can live freely and embrace the ebbs and flows of my progress without feeling like I'm on one extreme or another. And it was all about planning, organization. I really feel like I was able to accomplish that and live through that theme. I feel really successful and I do owe it to my bullet journal and constantly checking in with myself and checking in with my friends. I think it's super important to have uh, almost an accountability partner. If you guys pause and read this, some of the stuff actually is like pretty funny. Um, but let's just kind of not look at that. Let's look at this page. So my goals for January, I need to organize my finances. And this was actually the one thing, the main priority highlighted thing on my list that I did not do in January. So that's gonna get a big arrow. And if you don't know, in bullet journal language, this little pointed arrow means migrate. So we're gonna migrate it over to the next month. Um, clean up and organize messy areas around the house. Okay, this I did. My bedroom and I did, I really fully cleaned my bedroom. And then it says paint room and build Ikea shelves. I did it this weekend and I did it before January was up. <laughs> so I was able to say that I did complete it in January, uh, but the shelves are, gonna have to probably be done this week or next week so you know I didn't accomplish that but uh, I did paint my room so I did that so the build IKEA shells are just gonna migrate start creating YouTube videos this I did and I started planning which is really exciting start daily French classes and study this I did not do set up my bullet journal for 2021 I did that set up weekly every Sunday I didn't really do this I don't think I'm gonna migrate that because I don't want to do that anymore I think that's fine. Design portfolio website. <laughs> okay, this I sort of started on. Um, I am not finished, but I'm pretty close. I'm just gonna give it an arrow, even though I did. I'm gonna give it an X and an arrow. Set up a meal plan. I am not gonna do that anymore. Um, limit the amount of sweets. I feel confident that I did limit my amount of sweets in comparison to the end of last year when I was like eating Dairy Queen every single day. Um, so yeah, it <laughs> worked. Lots of greens and water. And yeah, I feel like I've been eating more greens. I've been drinking a bunch of jars of water per day. So that's really good. Read for 30 minutes every day. I actually accomplished that goal. Okay, I feel so good right now. I'm like crossing off all the stuff that I did this month. And they're little things, you know, but these are goals that I set for myself. And if I hadn't set them, then I wouldn't have been able to cross them off this list. So I did read for 30 minutes or more every single day. Um, I did journal, my bullet journal, almost every day. So I'm gonna mark that off. 6 a.m. wake up and 10 p.m. sleep. I did not do that, um, but it's still a goal of mine. So I'm gonna migrate it. Work out every morning and walk outside and lunch and night. I wanted to just move my body because I, I'm not going anywhere. And so I thought if I, it'd be a good idea to walk in the morning and then walk around the block at lunchtime and walk around at night and you know <laughs> I didn't really accomplish that but I did move my body almost every day so 
yeah, I'm still gonna migrate it because I didn't finish it, but um, I did accomplish something. Yoga every night before bed. This I did not do and I did sometimes. <laughs> Daily skincare. I feel like I, I did my skincare almost every day, so I'm gonna give myself that. Write my friend Olivia a birthday letter. I did that. Uh, get my dad a present. Okay, I did that. That's so funny that that was on my January overview. And then I said books I want to read. So I read The Year of Magical Thinking. I read The Night Circus. I didn't read these two, but I swapped them out for other books. So, I so the things I have to migrate are organize my finances. I think that's a really, really big one for me. Basically what I'm gonna write in this reflection is um, how I'm feeling now and how I felt about my accomplishments for the month. To tell you right off the bat, I feel really happy with where I'm at. I actually feel like I'm making progress this time around and that hasn't felt real in such a long time. I'm actually not gonna do my habit tracker. Um, I'm just gonna do my gratitude list. Only 28 days in this month, so yeah, this is my setup for this month. So yeah, that's my bullet journal setup for the month. And I'm so happy that you joined me. And now I want to take a few minutes to chat about our sponsor for today's video, which I'm really excited about. Thank you Skillshare for sponsoring this video, for working with me on this. If you don't know what Skillshare is, it's basically an online learning community for creative and curious people. You can work on existing skills that you already have, or you can discover new ones. There's classes on photography, graphic design, uh, creative writing, like public relations. I even, I even took a class on public relations, um, painting. I'm actually retaking a class right now by Roxane Gay, who's one of my favorite authors. It's about creative writing and writing stories with impact. I just restarted it again because I didn't finish it last year and I wanna work on my writing a little bit more. Another thing that's really great about Skillshare is that it's curated specifically for learning and there's no ads. So for just $10 or under $10 a month, if you have a yearly subscription, you have all of this amazing content. You could pretty much take a class every single day if you're that bored. And what's really awesome is the first thousand of my subscribers to click the link in my description will get a free trial. Go and click that link, go and try. Go and try Skillshare, let me know which classes you're taking. Maybe we can take a class together. It'd be kind of cool. But yeah. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. Thanks for hanging out with me today and I'll see you in my next video, which is a wrap up of the books that I read in January. You have a lovely day and I'll talk to you soon.